Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, star-born crystal leaders of the Rainbow Tribe of New Earth. Breathe into the portal. You are a stargate. Cosmic consciousness is your direct experience of your oneness with the cosmos. Our universe, which is connected to the multiverse. Everything we experience with our senses is a hologram. We are a fractal of the whole. The one and the many and the many and the one. In truth, there is no separation. Only that which seems to be based on our perceptions. In the realization of our true nature, which is our Buddha consciousness, we come into the understanding that the I Am Presence, that is our pure awareness, is the great mystery beyond all concepts. Therefore, I am the way, the truth, and the life. For I am one with Mother, Father, God, Source, Creator, the still white magnetic light at the center of all things that is eternal consciousness. We had another powerful day today in the matrix as all things continue to resolve and all comes into alignment with the universal harmonics of the tree of life. As Solaris continues to send waves of higher energetics directly from the great central sun, we had several pulses of gamma plasma appearing on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 19 hertz, 24 hertz, and a big blast at 33 hertz. This is encoded with the 33 code of the divine mastery of Christ consciousness. As each phase of the ascension flows in, our rainbow bodies of indestructible light expands and solidifies for the final event of total transformation. All is in divine time and will come into full manifestation in the exact moment when the time is right for Gaia and all her children. Only the Great Spirit knows the exact moment of the rapturing of the Heavenly Spirit within every living heart. We continue to hold the line, keep the faith, and shine our lights brightly into the field. Pachamama also experienced a massive activation today on the Ring of Fire with a magnitude 6.0 earthquake in Papua, New Guinea, at 1321 UTC. Mother Earth rises from the fires of transfiguration, and we rise with her. The ascension is a process of elimination. We release and let go all that no longer serves ourselves and humanity, to make sacred space, to allow the great mystery to fill the void with source light. We step aside from our false egos to allow the Holy Spirit to utilize our vessels of light for the highest good for all involved in the great awakening and transformation of this realm into the paradise she has always evolved to be. We live from our hearts being connected to all things. We are the event. Spread your etheric wings and take flight galactic angelics of the new Jerusalem. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. Now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 19 degrees, 3 minutes Aries. The sun is at 8 degrees, 49 minutes Taurus. The current Sabian symbols for the sun at 9 degrees Taurus. A Christmas tree decorated. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 20 degrees Aries. A young girl feeding birds in winter. From astrologyweekly.com and now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck Sacred Rebels from Alana Fairchild and Autumn Sky. And the card she pulled for you today, card 36, Listening for the Truth. Truth speaks to us constantly, but not always in words. It may communicate through a feeling that is hard to put into words, but brings an inexplicable sense of peace, trust, and the knowledge that somehow everything is going to work out perfectly. 
even if there is little evidence of how it is all going to happen. You are being asked to listen for the truths beneath the words rather than the superficial message of the words themselves. This is especially true for the communications of those around you, the press, the newspapers, and the mass media. You will begin to hear fear in the words and actions of those around you, even as they preach love. Listen deeper. Listen for the truth. This oracle comes with a message of truth for you. You are hearing something that is not being said, and what you are hearing is truthful. You may feel as though you are the only one that is really ready to hear or see it. Perhaps you have been working in a situation or loving in a relationship where truth is consistently denied. We live in a world where truth is frequently avoided out of fear of what it might reveal. At the basis of such actions, consciously or not, is a deep sense of unhealed, toxic shame. If you or someone else is fearful that the truth will expose rather than free and heal, then some personal healing is required. It is time for letting go of old wounds in favor of a greater sense of self-love and acceptance. You are being asked to love yourself enough to honor the truth, even if you feel you are the only one doing so. Sacred rebels need truth like lungs need oxygen. Truth keeps the energy of life flowing through the rebellious heart. Lies dampen the spirit of the sacred rebel. Even if those with less awakened hearts fear the truth, you must not turn away from it. Don't resent this state of affairs. Perhaps your job is to show that truth can be witnessed even when many may want to hide from it. What others do is always their choice. But through your honorable deeds, done with integrity, you will be set free, no matter what the outcome. You are a truth seeker. Never deny or try to quiet down this to make others comfortable. You are meant to be an agitator at times, even though you don't have to confront people to do it. You don't necessarily have to say a word, though sometimes you will. Often you will agitate in the most loving sense by unveiling truth simply through your knowings. Hold compassion for the truths you behold. Do not use them as knives to cut another or yourself with harshness, but as the clear insight that allows one to loosen the knots that bind, simply by knowing which thread to gently tug. This oracle brings you guidance. If you have been worn down and depressed by the lies, gossip, deceit, or backstabbing going on around you, don't fret. Get out in nature and spend some time communing with the infinite. Healing will come to you now, no matter how many times, in how many ways, or by how many tongues untruth is spoken. You know what you know in your sacred, rebellious heart. That truth is your connection to the living truth of life itself. Do not give up. Just open up to healing and know that the truth always eventually prevails. Healing process. Place your hand very lightly at the front and back of your throat and say, I now release all vows of silence I have ever made, consciously or not. I now release all lies, deceptions, and painful words, spoken or unspoken, that are affecting my ability to clearly know and speak my truth. I am held in unconditional love with protection and grace. So be it. You have finished your healing process. You might like to say something true just to anchor it. How about within me, beyond all that rises and falls, only truth remains. And from Divine Brother of the Light Sriman Narayana, the observer is silence, is bliss, is actually you. When the importance of that which never really had importance, what is observed, is removed, you will realize the obvious, your own splendor, pure and free identity, nothing to do with an intellectual concept, but the final realization, real being, truth in you. Know your own illusion, free yourself, be free, be freedom. Now realize, free yourself from your concepts, from your illusion, and dissolve in your own silence. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Morichetti. Solar Eclipse Gateway, receiving light codes non-stop, head deeply involved, an inner portal is opening up. Remain centered and observe your reality. What powerful upgrades going on in your nervous system in the last hour. 
My head is literally bombarded by solar cosmic light codes. It's off the charts. And from Divine Sistar of Light, Ramona Lappin, we have gone fully timeless and now operate in full flow state with the cosmic energies, transcending the illusions of time and space. All is consciousness. Be as one with the cosmic mind and quantum no time, the zero point field from where all births forth from and collapses. And from Divine Sistar of Light, Valerie A. Elster, Synchronicity within our hearts, the telepathy of inner knowing. The fifth dimension many speak of is not a place, but a state of feeling and being. We hold within our wombs the secrets of the universe, and as women relax into the safety of the Divine Mother, those secrets will be revealed. The true arcana of our times is the reunification of the species on Gaia. This divine union is of heart and sky, of land and cosmic dust. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Isabel Garcia, The Cosmic Project A solar wind from a coronal hole located directly toward our planet is set to reach our orb on Saturday, April 30th, the same day as the new moon and solar eclipse. Solar eruptions, solar winds, and coronal mass ejections have been divinely orchestrated to discard dangerous energies and the protective armor of our magnetosphere is being repaired. We are also being fixed by receiving a crystal frequency that gradually increases instead of maintaining us as carbon-based only. Each solar storm and every prolonged cosmic radiation are indicators of a work in progress of the great purification. Our resource is given to the human being to clean, transform, and evolve. It is up to us and our heart to embrace these codes of transformation with open arms. The heart is the switch of this mechanism. Only through it can we face the purification to come out unharmed and new as children. Our ego is getting the right request to dismantle their stronghold. Don't get rigid. Look at yourself. Listen to each other. Let go. Let it slide. Get closer to your inner child. Love, forgiveness, acceptance, and to go home. Points of light. Love us, bless us. God is with us and in us. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ali Ray. To you who feels to be in deep pain and suffering, I am holding you in my heart. And although you may see no way through and feel no love or light, I ask you, beloved one, to go deep into your heart and with all the strength you have, ask love to light the way. Do not fight your feelings or deny your thoughts, just let them all be as they are. But with all the strength you can conjure, go deeply into your heart and call upon love. It is love that has the power to overcome absolutely every conceivable experience on earth, every single one. We all know stories of radical and instantaneous healing and miracles of every kind. Do not leave yourself out of this possibility. If there is pain, there is a gift on the other side of it, always. And if you'll do all you can to be in love no matter the circumstances, grace will undoubtedly find you and uplift you, radically altering your perception and circumstance. It is so. Love makes the impossible possible. Do not lose hope, beloved. Do not lose faith. Do your very best to breathe easy and commune with the love within your heart. Allow what needs to leave to go. Send love to your precious vessel if it is in need of healing. Breathe in love. Keep breathing love. You are so very loved. All that is God dwells within you. There is no greater power than what resides in your own heart. I so love you, dear one. May love bloom you wherever you are planted. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Divine Feminine 7777, we are ending April with a big bang. The solar energy coming in, the black new moon and partial solar eclipse are all preparing us for the next cycle on the journey to permanently live in 5D energy. You might feel really tired and sleepy right now, without energy for the physical body to function properly. Take time for yourself and sleep enough and eat the foods that your body craves. 
Your body needs energy to function. The black moon is the second new moon to occur during a month. This black moon will be extra powerful because of the partial solar eclipse. It will bring sudden, unexpected change into our lives. New beginnings with extra power of the eclipse. We will be able to see our lives unfolding in unpredictable ways, see beyond the illusions of our mind, and understand why we are here and what comes next. Not all the steps we need to take will be revealed to us, but we will know what to do next, one step at a time and free will. The energy can bring us sudden chaos, but also happiness and joy. You might feel like you are out of control during this powerful period. The new moon energy is inviting us to write down our wishes and desires, but because of the cleansing energy of the solar eclipse, we better stay open to anything that comes in. The unexpected change can bring us into completely different timelines with a deeper understanding of how the divine plan is unfolding. The universe always provides us with what we are ready for. Open up to the unknown. And from Divine Broth or of the Light, Michael Love. The Earth Alliance Space Weather Brief, 4-27-2022 Great One, Earth is being blasted by one solar wave after another, and there's no sign of it letting up. This constant solar particle barrage is taking its toll on Earth's magnetic shields, and Earth's magnetic poles have been taking a beating. The second KP5 level geomagnetic storm of the day is currently underway, and the planet is totally immersed in exotic cosmic particles at this hour. A moderate to strong M-level flare is inbound now for Earth now and will impact in the next 48 hours. Ascension symptom reports are on the rise tonight all around the world as the star seeds of Earth receive more powerful DNA upgrades. Hang in there and do what you can to ease the effects of the powerful light on the layered human body system. Let us know what ascension symptoms you may be experiencing. Godspeed from 5dearthproject.com And from Divine Sister of the Light Ra, James. This weekend will be lit. Saturday brings us a Taurus new moon, which is also a black moon and a partial solar eclipse. That means we are getting a double dose of new moon energies. Dark moons are a powerful time for new beginnings and bringing a reset to your life. Your intuition should be super strong right now. For some time, this may be bringing up anything blocking your intuition. This is meant to be a time of increased clarity. This eclipse is all about you looking at areas in your life that could benefit from making some changes. This is a Taurus eclipse and we are in Taurus season. The energies right now are all about the seeds that you are planting. These are some of the most powerful manifesting energies of the year. This is also a time to rest, recharge, and to reflect on how things are going. Sunday is Beltane. Beltane is the midpoint mark between the spring equinox and summer solstice. It's a major solar gateway on the Celtic wheel, opposite to Samhain. It's a high solar day and a festive of fire. During this time, the Earth energies are at their strongest and most active. It's also a time to connect with the Fae. During Beltane, it's a time when the veil between our world and that of the fairy is thin. When the veil is thin, fairies can cross into our world and us into theirs. It's also a time to be tapping into the magic all around us. Things open up and the veils that separate the other worlds become blurred. That means we are picking up on more, sensing more, and even seeing more spiritually. From SparksOfDivineLightHealing.com and from crystal and indigo guide to the galaxy. When you have accepted and aligned to the truth, more truth starts coming no matter what, and the alignment gets greater and greater with no effort and no fear. Correction is taking place naturally. In the past, as forerunners and light workers, we are working with energy in the spiritual realms in order to purify and bring self-awakening DNA activations and alignments to the organic flows for the self, earth, and humanity. Since we entered the purification of the earth element, we started dealing with the more dense aspects of our reality and its true nature and history. We have been experiencing great changes in the human body and perception, and all our senses have been undergoing transformation. 
We have had important revelations regarding the nature and the purpose of the system we live in and recognize so many distortions and lies that are challenging for the physical eye and senses. Nothing is as it was presented to us. Each revelation is bringing a deeper and broader understanding and an unmeasurable number of new synapses in the brain and body. Many spiritual and history programs have collapsed as our inner flows are clearing and this process will now be getting bigger and bigger until everyone comes in contact and in understanding of where we truly are, who we are, what we have been dealing with and where we are going. Cooperation between humans towards this direction will be of great importance in the future for our complete exiting of this reality. Erini and from Divine Brother of the Light, Sean Caulfield. Letting Go, Ninth Wave Cosmic Calendar Openings Today, 13 Eagle, Day 114 Begins. If we want to let it go, we cannot hate it. We have to open our heart and love it. Dear friends, it's important letting go and intention setting time. With the synchronicity of the current energies at play, the opportunity is now to transcend what limits you. Like the unconditional love of the phoenix rising, let go and rise from the ashes of the memory of your inner fire. Unite your inner condor heart and inner eagle mind as one without separations. The trilogy of heaven, earth, and soul are continually evolving to merge all creation to beat with the heartbeat of cosmic time. According to the nine level Mayan calendar codes, this is what the ninth wave calendar is in resonance to, to the heartbeat of the divine universe. The times we are in are asking our soul to trust itself to intend from the unconditional light of the heart. In this way we are open and the universe can do its work through us. If we are endowed and closed, we are not an open conduit and the evolutionary light of cosmic source cannot work through our soul. Understand that the universe responds to your intentions on an unconscious level too. So transcend the unconscious mind, awaken the conscious mind to what we are unconsciously intending and release this into the fire. Recondition your mind with high vibrational love, override the negative self-sabotaging patterns, consciously set intentions with your heart for your greater good and the greater good of all life on earth. Trust your truth and be creation's light at the end of your tunnel. 13 Eagle today, the new 18 days of light begins on the ninth wave calendar. New openings, ascend, take new aim, believe in yourself, and your dreams will come true. Understanding that the birth of peace on earth begins within you. As we trust ourselves with what we understand, we are in surrender and we have let go to all conflicting ideas. Hence, if our mind does not understand, we need to surrender to the heart that knows we don't need to understand anything further than the truth. We don't have the capacity to understand everything. As long as our heart is open and clear, we are aligned to the truth. We are complete. So it does not matter if we don't understand everything consciously. Today, 13 signifies complete. What are we complete to? Know thyself, surf the waves of cosmic time, let go of the shores of the river of life. Blessings, Sean, from the heart, from the universalfrequency.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. Portal ejection light codes are entering the spirit through the CME flares. This is activating your rebirth for the new human template and design that is entering the chakra system, morphing you deeper into Christ. The masculine and feminine unified field within is utilizing this new chakra system to release the past template for good. This may be affecting your health as the old self dies off with old heaven and old earth. Particularly, you may feel digestive, solar plexus, and power alignments. This is a cleansing and detox to help you see clearly and from a different perspective. You can utilize your strength and determination to move further ahead by breaking ties with what you have outgrown. It's important to integrate these soul lessons and open your third eye to see your true perception of your reality and desires. Listen. Take time to rest and clear your auric field before making any decisions. 
feeling grounded, safe, and secure is the best next step. When the time is right, you will take the necessary action steps that are in alignment with what you really want. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA. Gene Key 24, April 28, 2022 through May 3, 2022. Addiction, Invention, Silence. Only in silence are we truly together. Many mystics have demonstrated the power of this CD. By not speaking, one cannot be distracted by words. The quintessence then begins to communicate and the aura does the talking. When you share time with a silent mind, your own mind falls silent. True silence is contagious. Dare to be divine. And from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change, Hexagram 24, The Turning Point, Thunder Within the Earth. New life springs forward from the depths, receiving awakening from within. Silence is unified awakening. Invention is orienting initiative. Addiction is dislocated agitation. Receiving realization. Progress and freedom of action are found in return. To and fro goes the way. Return to repeat the proper course. Seven days returns the cycle to its beginning. There is advantage in choosing one's path. Whether we feel our suffering as grief, numbness, boredom, angst, frustration, loneliness, or any other deeply uncomfortable state, we like to avoid it, so we find patterns of behavior that temporarily suspend the discomfort. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways. And the zodiac sign for this Gene Key 24 is Taurus, 7 degrees, 37 minutes through 13 degrees, 15 minutes, 37 into 73, heaven on earth, lover, dancer, embodied beauty, fixed earth, Taurus is the flower and fruit that wants to be smelled, tasted, and pollinated, fixation, flow, presence, service to self-growth through the epicurean experience of the senses, from genekeys.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Dr. Shavi M. Ali, The Portal Potency, Cosmic Update, April 27, 2022, at the current time of 12.54 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Wednesday, April 27th, our planet is experiencing a geomagnetic storm rated at the level of G1. The storm was not slated to arrive until the 29th, when Earth Gaia will be moving through the co-interactive region. CIR, which is when both slow and fast-moving solar winds converge and send shock waves to our planet's inner core and outer field. Solar flaring is at the medium strength C7 range with a coronal mass ejection. Solar winds are flowing at 498.9 kilometers a second, which is almost as can be gleaned heading up to 500 kilometers a second, which is far over the normalcy of 300 to 400 kilometers a second. The KP index is rated at storm level. Sunspots have a beta gamma magnetic field for M-class flares. Thus, the powerful CIR energetics in front of the coming new moon and solar eclipse on Saturday, April 30th, decided to come on stage before their scheduled dance a vibrational frequency choreographed as mentioned for the 29th. The cosmos is full of surprises and we can only surmise its actions with our cosmic knowledge but we can no longer pinpoint exact happenings. Yet intuitive messages from our higher self, soul, source informs us of various occurrences. The magnetosphere is enveloped in particle plasma that is causing tremendous pressure. Once again, as has been the case in many past weeks, Earth Gaia is having a zooming roller coaster ride up and down and around and around. Throughout the remainder of this week and into the weekend, cosmic events will be heightened, then become a bit slowed down, but not much, and then will accelerate again as the constant words of clearing, cleansing, acclimating, upgrading become affixed in our collective consciousness. We are becoming experts at riding the waves like experienced surfboarders, 
Those who are not yet experts are learning the process. When we were babies just learning to walk, our legs were wobbly and unsteady as our moms and dads stood a bit away from us but facing us. They said, come on, honey, you can do it. We giggled and eventually ran to their waiting arms. Many people feel like a wobbling baby in need of encouragement as we face these high-powered forces that are altering our internal structures and outer experiences. We are also like Romeo, who said, What light through yonder window breaks? Shakespeare, Romeo, and Juliet. Because this beautiful solar light is new and cannot be easily analyzed from our school book perspective. We are in wonder at our world and all our galactic family. We are embracing more and more the photons that will carry us into greater levels of collective consciousness as we even in this now feel the sensation of dimensional shifts as we are fashioned by the sparkling particles of Source which holds out her arms and says, Come on, you can do this. You can crystallize. Let me comfort you with flares and winds, my powerful pulsations of light activation. Wherever you are on the planet, prepare for further rides on the waves and for new lunar energy and solar eclipsing. We are being readied for new starts, new opportunities, and new knowledge. Let butterflies, dragonflies, and mythical phoenix birds be our symbols, all of which represent transformation. Obtain a picture of some sort of small depiction of any of these and carry it with you as a reminder of our wonderful changing beingness as we each become a greater light of the light. How beautifully we shine together. From DisclosureNews.it And from Divine Brother of the Light Daniel Giamario, Shamanic Astrology Mystery School. The first eclipse season of the year approaches. There are two eclipse seasons each year, each separated by about six months. Sometimes there can be three eclipses in a season, but more often only two, as is the case with both seasons this year. This year features two extremely central lunar eclipses and two very minor solar eclipses. We will explore the upcoming solar and lunar eclipses of April 30th and May 15th, partial solar eclipse April 30th, 2022, 1.23 p.m. PDT, 1.23, 10 degrees, 28 minutes Taurus. This partial eclipse will cover a bit over half of the sun, 0 0.640, and can be seen only in western Antarctica, the Falklands, and the southern half of South America. It is part of Saros 119, and nearing the end of 71 eclipses that began May 15, 850, and will end June 24, 2112. The previous partial eclipses in the series was April 19, 2004 at 29 degrees 49 minutes Aries. Each Saros lasts 18 years and 11 days. This is a North Node eclipse occurring a good 12 degrees away from the North Node, which is at 22 degrees 28 minutes Taurus. Total solar and lunar eclipses can only occur when the Syzygy, when a new or full moon aligns with the nodes, is much closer to the lunar nodes. From shamanicastrology.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light Leah White Whitehorse. Mercury and Taurus trine Pluto and Capricorn. We clear away mental cobwebs today as mindful Mercury and practical Taurus interacts with detective Pluto and careful Capricorn. This is the perfect time for some heavy duty studying, psychotherapy, research, or shadow work as we have the ability to focus our attention and dig deep. Knowledge, too, is power under this influence, so take time to gather information to help with decision-making and developing plans. If there has been hurt, create space to talk. A heart-to-heart -heart clears the way and generates intimacy and trust. If we've been feeling scared or hesitant about implementing changes, it's easier to trust our perception and face up to the truth. Decisions made now are carved in stone. Words spoken are etched on the heart. Pay attention to the language you use, the track of your thoughts. Words have power. Release old patterns of thinking to allow for natural evolution. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Cosmic History Quote for Moon 10, Day 25. Telectonon is the distant, far-traveling code of information received from spirits and deities 
dwelling within the earth. And today from the Tolkien Times, Keen 240, Yellow Rhythmic Sun. The number six is called rhythmic and its keywords are organize, equality, and balance. These days are always really handy. They are great for getting yourself organized. Ask yourself what needs sorting out in your life and then get on with it. Rhythmic days are about finding balance, being practical, and striving for equality. Take advantage of this helpful energy and you'll be better prepared for the rest of the wave spell. Today is a yellow sun which represents enlightenment, life, and universal fire. This makes for a lovely combination of day and number. Organize enlightenment. Expect to have moments today where ideas just pop into your head. This is great for problem solving and if you are consciously journeying through this blue eagle wave spell, today will provide an opportunity to fly very close to the sun. Be creative with what you see. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Rhythmic Sun, 6, Ahau, Keen 240, 28th of April 2022, 28 4, 2022, equal 10 4, 6, equal 10 10, equal 1 1, equal 2, 10 10, Manifestation Portal, 1 1, New Beginnings Portal, Day Codes, 28 Planning for Future Success, 10. Manifestation, Power, Authority. 1. New Beginnings, Original, Unique, Leader. 2. Twins, Polarity, Cooperation, Partner. Month Year Codes, 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility. 10. 1. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen 240 equal 24 code equal 6. Heaven, Christ, Harmony, Romance. Keen number 240 equal 6 and Tone of Creation equal 6. Rhythmic 66 six, Christ Consciousness Code plus the Double Sun, Glory Be. Day 6 in the Blue Eagle Wave Spell where we are being asked to fly high and focus on the big picture, the divine plan for humanity, so that we can create it. Envisioning the highest timeline for ourselves and our planet as our visionary powers and third eye are awakened and activated. It is time for mass awakening of humanity. Day 6 of the Blue Eagle Wave Spell accompanied by a double yellow sun. A hugely insightful day for our God Buddha consciousness vantage point. Today we are organizing to balance our life so that we can attain the divine zero point neutrality where all is equal and all is one. A very powerful and insightful day for aha moments, epiphanies and breakthroughs are highly possible. Tone of creation, rhythmic tone six in the physical realm, action, organize, power, balance, essence, equality. The sixth day of the blue eagle wave spell is the one that brings balance. The rhythmic phase is where this all-adventuring, radiating miracle learns to walk, but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts and what superb balance we see. Today we learn to independently find our own balance through our own connection to Source. When you do what you love and let your spirit soar like the eagle, you shine brightly like the sun. Shine the spotlight on the people, circumstances, and environments that give you clarity and assist you in attaining a balanced life. It's time to reignite our full remembrance of our God Self, awakening our inner fire and light. Devote your life purpose to the Divine in order to express your own unique spark of the Creative Source. Fly high and shine bright, angelic Christed winged ones, reflecting your inner glory. Celebrate the radiant being that you are as the center of your own universe. Today's question is how can I balance any inequalities in my life world, restoring order, so that I, we, can become more enlightened. Divine blessings for becoming the sunshine of your life. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 240, Yellow Rhythmic Sun. The mantra, the code for today is, I activate in order to enlighten. Balancing life, I seal the matrix of universal fire. With the rhythmic tone of equality, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. 
And on this powerful day of activations, manifestations, and transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support us, our work in this channel, you could either make a monthly pledge on Patreon or a one-time donation to our PayPal link, both at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my sacred condor's artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful codes from Divine Sister of the Light, Sandra Walter. The blue lightning is a visible, palpable light. I see it all around me before live events, and it does look exactly like blue lightning. It serves as an activator, protection, and conduit of the Christed Christ frequency. It can be consciously directed, as with all Christ light frequencies, to infuse, clear, purify, or sanctify the temple of the body conduit. Divine Decree Beloved I Am Presence, call forth the cosmic Christ blue lightning to consume all discord or fear that has ever registered in my beingness. Remove the cause, core, record, effect, and all memory of it now. Replace it with the cosmic light of love, purity, and divine perfection, eternally sustained across all realities. From AscensionPath.com Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most powerful, blessed rest of your week and powerful weekend with the new moon in Taurus, solar eclipse in Beltane. Very powerful energies coming in of transformation, transmutation, and transfiguration. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and all days the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.